for the past year, I have uploaded one video every single day on my second channel, CRF Shorts. Starting with only 87 uploads and 309 subscribers, it has grown exponentially in that amount of time, now having over 452 uploaded videos. And looking back, it's incredible to be able to watch how much truly happens in a year, to see where I started, to where I am now. And let me tell you, it, this definitely was one of the hardest things I've ever done, if not the hardest thing I've ever done. Having to stay true to my word for one whole year, but let me tell you how this whole thing originally came about. In late 2022, an idea came to me about doing something where I upload a video or some sort of video every day for an extended period of time to experiment more into what stuff works and really doesn't work on YouTube. I figured that throughout such a series like this, I would make various content containing just everyday normal things, kind of like stuff into my life, and nothing too special just to see how it performed. But as I shrugged that idea to the side, I wrote it down in my ideas list with the hundreds of others ideas that I have blending it in, and honestly, I forgot about it for a while. That was until February 2023, I came across the idea again written down in my notes with all the other video ideas that I have, and I really started thinking about it. I really thought about this a lot at the time and how cool it really could be if I did this. For a few days, I bounced ideas back and forth on what the series could be and how I could do it, which is when I decided to make one video a day for one entire year on my shorts channel. I filmed video one on February 11th, 2023, around 10 in the morning. And while filming it, I didn't really know what was gonna happen in the series or what I could possibly upload about for every day. But I just thought to myself, just to take it day by day and just to see what happens. That's what was so unique about this series. I had to come up with something every day to talk about, something interesting, and physically make a video about whatever that was, edit it, and upload it no matter what was going on or even where I was. Why did I actually do this series? Why would I put myself through this? Like, what's the point of going through all of that just to make a video? Well, there's three main reasons why I did this. Something about me you should know is that I love keeping records of stuff and love looking back at where my channel was and comparing it to where it is now. It's, I just think it's one of the coolest things to be able to look back at something from a long time ago or not even that long ago and just see something that was happening at that time and comparing it to what's going on now and in my life now. I just think it's so cool. Reason number two is that I wanted to better understand when I should upload and what time of the year is really best for YouTube especially for shorts. Shorts is very different from long form content and I learned that throughout the series. And reason number three, I wanted to see how much growth my channels would experience just, just by talking about my life for a few seconds daily and seeing how I can apply some of that stuff into future video projects. Although that may sound really cool and pretty easy for the most part, there were of course quite a few problems thrown in my way throughout the 365 days. For example, day 41. Well, life. I, I won't go into any more depth than that, but life got tough for a while at this point, and I really had to push myself to make a short each and every day at this point. Day 49 to day 96. Spring baseball season. Now, not only did I have to make daily shorts on my channel, manage my channel, manage my main channel, finish schoolwork, and everything else in my life, but I also had my baseball season with baseball games multiple times a week and baseball practices pretty much every single day. Now I really like baseball and I'm not, and I'm not saying it sucked, but it was definitely a lot. And yes, it was a ton of fun, but also very tiring at the same time, especially doing all of those things at once. Most of the summer was also very hard because I was mostly on vacation somewhere, whether it be Maine, Wildwood, Baltimore, or wherever, I had to make a short. I'm not going to say it wasn't fun or anything because it certainly was pretty cool and fun just to even look back now, but at the same time, it was very exhausting when I was out all day and then got back at 10, 11 o'clock at night and had to put together a quick short and upload it before midnight. For the first few weeks of September, that was one of the worst times I've ever experienced on YouTube. So not only was I starting to go back to school at this point, readjusting to that schedule, but at the same time, my hard drive where I store all of my files for YouTube and videos and everything shut down and died, which put me on hold for weeks. In that time, while back in school, making daily shorts or whatever I still had available to me in that time period, I had to drop everything, 
get new drives, as well as recover mo most of my important files from the dead one or as many as I could. But that was definitely one of the hardest times in my YouTube life in general and actually creating content. And also just some other random days, wasn't any day special. You know, for whatever reason, I either just was so busy and wasn't home nearly at all for the entirety of the day. And I just had to do something on the spot before midnight in order to keep this series alive. That was definitely very difficult because there were some days where I was out to the movies at like 11 p.m. at baseball practice or a game before, and I still had to make a short. Or another time I was sitting in line at a horror convention for five hours and got out of there at like nine o'clock at night. So I just made a short there. And you might be thinking to yourself, it's just a short. How hard could it be to upload a little 15 second short every day? I mean, you didn't really do much. Eh, there's a lot more behind the scenes than what you think. I had to come up with something cool every day. And there were many times where I had nothing to talk about. So I either talked about just nothing or I did like a Snapchat filter thing. Like I had stuff written down and saved or something that happened a couple times that was great. I filmed stuff on the spot where just like a truck passed or something and it did something weird and that was like my entirety of the short like you gave me something to upload about and talk about which just was perfect like this I remember this one time this uh this guy kept passing by and I made a whole short like is this guy stalking me or something so that was that was really good it happened on the spot like I walked outside and it just happened and I filmed it which was great anyway enough of me blabbing and constantly talking let me send it over to my editor to give you a sick montage of everything that's happened this past year. Every single day for the next year, I will be uploading a video to this channel. Today, I uploaded on my main channel for the first time in over two months. I also worked out and finished editing the biggest main channel video I made. Last night, we hit 500 subscribers. We are less than 40 subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers. I also hit 5,000 subscribers. We hit 78. Subscribers away from 6,000. It's a double rainbow. Somebody better get that double rainbow. I'll start my first job tonight. Everything we've done in this series is coming to an end. Well, a year ago today, I sat in this room, told you to your faces that I'd be uploading a video every day for a year. I did that. I've done so many other crazy things this past year, but I got even more crazy stuff coming up, so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Huge thanks to everybody who has been supportive this past year who's watched literally every single short, and huge thanks to everybody who's been incorporated and who has helped me with the shorts, because without them, this whole thing would not be possible. And the question is, what's next? What can I do to top uploading every day for a year on a channel? Let me know in the comments. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.